Hi everyone, thank you so much for having me. I'm so looking forward to working with you all and getting to know you all <coughs> and to having maybe the longest job title in history. <laughs> <laughs> so, any attempt to understand anti-Semitism must crucially begin with and in language. As Raymond Williams has argued, the investigation into the specific workings of any culture must include an inquiry into a vocabulary, a shared body of words and meanings. Understanding the relationship between language and anti-Semitism is at the heart of my research. And during my time as a research fellow here at the Wolf Institute, I shall continue this important work towards decoding and dealing with anti-Semitism in the age of globalization. Working with my brilliant colleagues at ISGAP, Charles and Lev, we will develop a conceptual framework for understanding and combating anti-Semitism in all its forms. During my time here, I will undertake a new research project entitled Anti-Semitext, Language, Image and Discrimination in the Age of Globalization. This interdisciplinary project will interrogate how the plasticity of anti-Jewish prejudice informs and infects the meaning of words with a particular focus on the present moment. This work expands directly on my doctoral research, entitled The Mosaic Negative, Art Voic and Antisemitism in Ezra Pound's Work and Thought. My PhD investigates the relationship between art and antisemitism in Ezra Pound's writing from 1910 to 1950. Focusing primarily on the cantos and drawing further insights from his published prose, radio broadcasts, and previously undiscovered archival material, I argue that there can be no poetics without prejudice, and I'm picking the complicated relationship between the sublime verse and the abhorrent discrimination is a necessary step towards understanding how anti-Semitism mutates from veiled verse into violent fascist propaganda. My new research project will offer the first hermeneutics of textual anti-Semitism. I will try to provide a theoretical solution for the long unanswered questions. What does it mean to read a work for its anti-Semitism? Is this to analyze the representation of Jewishness in the work to really interrogate the caricatures? Or is this to read against the grain, to read a work for its ellipses, its blank spaces, its coded language? This is navigating a way of reading works of literature for what they say just as much as what they do not say. So please may I have the next slide? You may. Thank you. Just as Edward Said's Orientalism and Judith Butler's Gender Trouble, Feminism and the Subversion of Identity proved foundational to post-colonial and queer theory respectively, this research project shall try to be the first to offer a critical framework for reading works of literature, images and digital content for the anti-Jewish prejudice. I'm particularly interested in bringing critical theory into dialogue with popular culture, and this will involve analyzing a suite of texts across multiple forms of media that have been neglected by prior scholarship, ranging from online anti-Semitic memes to popular Netflix shows, including Dear White People and Never Have I Ever. So I've included in some screenshots of particular scenes from Never Have I Ever that I intend to explore. This character, identifies as Jewish and is called Ben Gross, Gross as a synonym for disgusting. Um, his, the protagonist of the show tells him that she wishes that the Nazis would kill him. He's then discouraged from reporting it as an act of anti-Semitism and the other characters are unable to actually say the word Jewish. They say that he's the only one that can use that word. And then the characters negotiate a definition of anti-Semitism in the classroom itself. So it's fascinating, it's problematic, it's seen by thousands of people, and no one knows how to talk about what's going on. So by bringing the critical study of anti-Semitism into conversation with popular and digital culture, my research will examine how these pervasive paradigms of power manifest anti-Jewish discrimination in language, images, and acts of violence in the world today. I'll be reading texts, as I term them, as anti-Semitics. So stay tuned for more, and thank you for having me.